I know nothing. Test series can be really depressing and demotivating when we get very less marks in test series. And this is the thing that I used to tell myself when I was preparing for gate exam that when I was giving the gate test series I used to get a lot a lot less marks and you might not believe me but I will show today my test marks as well as my gate marks so the gate today I'm just going to tell you about my test series marks and my gate marks and also how I improved on it the real way uh, this is I I used to give the gate coach test series back then and you can clearly see it's me and of chemical engineering okay uh, in this of the gate coach I gave around 42 tests and my highest and lowest rank was 1 and this was 80 so I performed as bad as 80 and I performed as good as 1 so from this but I started from this and go went up to here the main thing in every test series is that everyone gets very low marks so the thing here, here is that you just have to improve on yourself and I will tell you how I did for in my case so first test was this one and it was PC process calculation I got 13 out of 40 and after this test I was really much like lost because I was thinking that at least I would get around 50% marks but this was really below that a lot more below that but you can actually see here that the highest here is 24 average is 7.7 .7 and lowest is minus 8 that doesn't matter right now but you can actually get your rank so I got my rank as 38 now this was a test that I gave on 15 6 2020 that was in the time like uh, June uh, and I gave it around like June uh, end of June so at that time my preparation was really bad and to be honest and so this marks and I again I gave another test and I again got 13 so and my rank was now 60 and this was in the same June June month so definitely if you see like in June and July August my marks were so much less okay this whole period is of that 13 18 7 18 18 still good uh, but overall you can see for the 6 like 7 this is June July month uh, marks were really bad it was quite depressing because uh, I was thinking of at least 50% and this is the same thing that happens with a lot of students and this is so much demotivating and we just feel that let's just not give tests but stay with me stay with me okay so after all of this that happened I thought to again like give the test continue giving the test and after June so you can see after June or August here uh, this was August so after that I directly I made my short notes revised properly learn and I, I put a lot of efforts in the August September and, and in October also and started giving the tests again okay so I put my efforts now and again gave the test here and then what you see is that again I get 20 it's, it's still good <laughs> 12 12 11 this is still good uh, but only just 20 26 uh, again 12 in fact I also got 9 out of 40 again but if you see these marks and if I just tell you my gate marks now you will see you will say that this is not me this is a fake profile <laughs> probably because but it's it's my it's hundred percent mine and I face the th same thing I was demotivated and you this is also correct my highest rank was one later on and I will tell you how I did it but first just see the trend I gave my test series in June July and then I gave directly on October and November mostly November if you see this 11 and some October and November and I studied a lot during that time and still you can see my marks were low what went wrong and this is quite depressing like after this if someone can still give the test and again get these marks then that would be really depressing and let's see what happened next and this time what was that is it was a time when this final the subject wise papers ended so what you have seen that in subject wise papers out of 40 I was getting so very low 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 marks and so low like barely reaching the 20 mark but 
when I started giving the full length paper in the uh, months of November, December and October not October I gave it in November and December and January January perhaps this period was from this on it's mostly January from 14 and above and you can see clearly see that how things have taken a great change because now the marks have been all out of 100 and I've been scoring better I started with 44 this was also same almost same but you can see a gradual increase in my marks and I tried tried and finally reached up to here okay this was quite a quite an easy paper because it my rank is still five and I don't know who who I who guy really got 98 that's just amazing but you can see I worked on each and every paper and my marks increase again a sudden drop this paper was really hard for everyone actually and and finally the last test the test that I gave in January this were again if you see this was really really hard this I, I even left in midway so don't count this but you can see my scores were actually up here right at this time okay some papers were really like out of the league out of the whole thing out of the whole mostly out of the gate syllabus and but you can see a better trend here okay and mostly if you see this and for the subject wise papers I was totally uh, if I had stopped giving the test like if I had made it the point that my subjects are weak because of these marks and then in the month of November and December I, st I had stopped giving the full length paper then who knows that I would be really demotivated down there okay so you don't worry don't see this and just compare it directly with grade because let me just compare it with my gate marks so this is me and my gate marks was 62.33 okay so 62.33 and you can see here the marks mostly in the 40 and 50 range you can see a great gap and I will tell you how I finally accomplish it and this was again a test of uh, again my report card and my rank was 30 46.38 marks in this this was gate academy test series and and now also my rank here also was 1 68.35 so you can see the various fluctuations in the marks okay while I get 46 in one test and I get 68 in another test okay the rank was 1 and in the other rank was 30 there will be fluctuations there will be less marks it will be demotivating at times depressing at times but just let's just see how to reach this thing this trend of getting a very consistent and actually improve marks at certain in intervals in my time uh, I actually was finding some tests which I could give again and again and free of cost and I found that them here so in academy an academy uh, okay so those who cannot really afford a uh, test series and want to just try out the test series for just practice these are the test series that are completely free and all if I see these all are free and I gave all of them during my time test series are marks because all these things the trends uh, even if there are low marks these tests are marks for practice because practice is something really important and if you just see here uh, let's say revise India mock test test on chemical if I just open this okay what mostly people do is like they will just open a test take test okay and then begin test but what the actual way is okay this was something that I used to do earlier but then I realized there are two main things in every test that people need to focus one is the speed and the second is the accuracy so the accuracy the main real way of increasing accuracy is first making short notes and make them as short as possible and open the short notes give it a full view just one glance view short notes will have formulas and everything and then and after the full view then give the test the best way like if you have a lot more or less time try to just take short notes from someone else or if you want to make yourself your short notes you can actually see the this is something okay so you can go up here 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 and when they have started the formulas method to calculation okay after they have written so okay after they have written something 
this is the formula you can actually write it down or if you want everything in your flow understand the formula in just some minutes okay and then when this kind of the complete formula and thing comes up take a snip okay so then you can take a snip okay so this is how you can actually arrange the formulas and the stuff and after you have given a short one short look at your notes that you have made from these uh, snips or snapshots then you go to take test and then begin your test also when you begin your test let's begin this one you have a question on your screen and the time also what most people do is like they will just try to focus on this solve on this but the best way is to do is like going like this reading it understanding okay can i give it a shot can i give it a try right now because time is also a matter and what people do is like they cannot cover most of the questions but first thing is accuracy so try to attempt only those questions that you are you think you will be much accurate you know all the formula has been in your mind in that snips initially when you are solving this you are quite focused at the end of the test it it just kind of like it's too fast and everything is so in a speedy way that your accuracy tends to decrease with time all right? and to increase the speed let's say we have uh we have like ended this test okay. but after this go to your attempt okay after this take at least five minutes break drink water okay after you have given the test i know it's quite difficult to actually look after giving a three hour test to again look at the solutions but trust me if you don't look right now okay then this could be you will just miss it and you won't feel like coming back to the solutions tomorrow or the next day so take like five ten minutes break and look at the solutions because tomorrow or day after tomorrow you might not be able to check the solutions and you will be giving another test you will be giving test and test and test and you you might not even know the answers of the test it's really important and now what you have to do is like you have to understand the thing you have to first look at those questions which you kind of attempted in one shot okay the the questions that you attempted at the earliest try to look at them first okay don't look at just by this question number why i'm telling you this because in a scribble pad or in anything that you had writing and rough work you have done it the way so check it in that way only because that way you will first feel good about yourself that your accuracy would be high and quite good so read them again see the solution at a glance okay okay right now see the solution at a glance because there are 65 questions obviously and if you try to understand deeply one and everything in the solution this could take a lot of time you bet you might do till 30 questions and then you will leave it and you will never touch it again okay try to look at the major steps okay then again this okay this is the main formula now how to work on your speed to work on your speed all you need to do is back to this test after you have uh, seen the solution also on monday itself come back to this test and re-attempt test yes this you might feel why to re-attempt this you already know the questions you already know the answers but here right now you are going to work on your speed and this is one of the best methods to actually work on your speed you know the questions you know the solutions okay but i told you to just give a glance at the solutions if you are going into deep you might only able to cover 30 questions and not 65 okay so work on them again and trust me this will give you both confidence and speed why speed because you still have to do the answers we have to still write the answers and this way trust me those questions those concepts in the test will be fixed in your brain till the end till you give gate okay and uh, a good handful amount of test would be like at least 15 full length paper okay leave the subject wise if you don't want to give subject wise don't give because somewhat they are demotivating but at least make the short notes the way i told you take the screenshots snapshots that uh, that is an easy way if not then actually borrow some short notes i have given my short notes and, and some material uh, in the description you can check that too and try to give at least 15 full length paper if you're getting low marks like 40 uh, 53 don't worry this will be increased like i told you 62.33 so don't worry upon that and i hope all the best to you okay 
don't get depressed don't get demotivated thank you